Okay, so just one more time, just to make sure you guys really understand kind of how the resets work and what a reset goes back to, let's look at a little bit of an example. So say you checked out a commit. You told the, uh, the publisher, hey, I want to check out that package. I want you to send me that package, and I want to look at it. And it's going to change your repository to that view. So your head is now going to point to that checkout. Your staging and working directory don't change. You just sent it to you, and you, know, you didn't say anything else. So it's just there. And this you know, usually happens when you, OK, I just want to look at that file or see something else. Well, then let's say you edit three of those files. So I checked out this, this, uh, this commit, and now I'm looking at all these different stuff. And then I add these files to the staging index, and then I commit them. So right now, you're at this point right here. So let's say this is, this is the point of you've done all of these commands. If you do a soft reset, all it pretty much does is undo the commit. It still says, OK, yep, you checked out this commit, you edited these files, and you added these files to your staging index. The head is pointed somewhere else now, but it's still like you've done these three commands. If you do a mixed reset, it's going to point it back to here. So it's saying, you have not added these files to the staging index. Your head's pointed somewhere else. All I know that you've done is you've edited these three files and that you're on a different commit. Or we could even call that on a different branch. We'll get into that later. But if you do a hard reset, remember, this is the most dangerous reset. It says, oh, you ed edited what files? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't edit anything. All I know is that we're on this different commit now. So this is kind of a quick, you know, poor man's way to remember, here's how everything is going to work. If it's like, you know, you checked out, you edited, you added, you commit, and here's where they will put you back if you did this scenario. So hopefully that clarifies a bit of kind of how each of these works. Another thing I want to talk about is going through how the hard reset will get rid or erase these commits, or really any of these resets will. So let's say I go ahead and do a reset hard to 758.109D, which is the blue commit. Well, my head's going to move back there. Now let's say I change some files or something, you know, because it completely wiped out every, all the work that I've done in yellow and purple commits. Completely wiped it out. doesn't even know it exists. Then I make a new commit, and I say, okay, well, this is going to be, you know, my new commit. I'm going to add these different files or whatever. Well, now the head's going to point there, and this blue commit's going to point to the dark blue one. I make another commit. The head's going to point to there. Eventually, these two other commits will be erased by Git. It's after a certain point. I'm not sure. We can reference them, but their link, their chain, has been broken. So you need to be careful of you're erasing this data forever. So it's something to take in mind when you do a reset of make sure it is not something you want to do because eventually you're going to overwrite them completely.